Hello guys, welcome to my review of the Tarot Noir. That's right, that's in French. And that is the only way that you can get this, uh, this book and this deck. It is only available in French, unfortunately. Um, which really kind of sucks, because I don't speak French. But if you do, <laughs> really like this. It's a beautiful, beautiful, fully colored, glossy, illustrated book um, on this deck, um, which is kind of totally useless to me because I don't speak French. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this even goes into um, the minors and everything. Look at that. Oh, there really isn't much about the minors, just illustrations. But... I have to say, this is still one of my favorite decks of all time, and there is very little information on this deck out there, so I really want to put this video out as soon as possible. Look at that. Look at the gold edging on this deck and how thick and big it is. Let me give you a little size comparison. I have a uh, Rider Waite Smith here. Hang on. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> oh my god. It dwarfs it in size. It's actually, I feel like the Terra Noir is bigger than, um, Jesus, than most Oracle decks even. Um, and the card stack is fairly thick too. So when you, you know, like this, super slidey. You can see it's just like super thick in your hands too. Um, so it, shuffling can be um, a little bit difficult. I'm not going to shuffle it yet because I have it in order for you, but um, it works. You know, I use it all the time and it's not really a big deal. Um, you just get used to it. Um, it's not like they're so thick. Like, I have another deck that's that's really big that uh, I literally just can't shuffle because the cards don't bend as they should, but these cards are pretty bendy, so you can still ripple shuffle and, you know, regular shuffle. Um, the backs are not reversible, which I have to say, I actually kind of love for this deck because this is a Marseille deck, right? So you have, over. you have, I mean, this card you can clearly tell which is up, upright or reversed. You know, that's upright, and the flower is upright on the back. Um, this one, well, I know that in uh, most Marseille decks, the the, th the three of Pentacles is a upward facing triangle, so this one really wouldn't be a big deal for me. But if you weren't sure. You know, if that's upright or reversed, you can always take a peek at the back. Usually it's the wands um, and some of the swords that really will give you a hard time knowing if they're upright or reversed. Um, but this is, oh my god, look at that. This is a classic um, Marseille deck. It's so hard to find that. Like, you can find, you know, Rider Waite clones and even some both clones everywhere if that's your thing. Um, but if you read Marseille, it is... You, you might feel like you're really just tied to, um, like, historical reproductions or, um, what do you call them? Reproductions or restorations or something. And don't get me wrong, those are totally wonderful and fun to read with. Um, I have quite a few. But um, it's nice to have something that, that is different and new. And I wouldn't call this, like, a modern reinterpretation or anything, but... It has this old, sort of elegant, macabre feel to it, actually. Um, but you know what? It's not dark or negative or sad or scary. There's something... I like the word elegant for this deck. There's something really, really just stunningly gorgeous about it. Um, all right, let me know some of the minors. Let me take you through some of the majors here. So this is the fool. Ooh, which way is up? Hang on. This is the fool. And all the titles are in French. This is La Mat for the fool. La Batelou. I butcher French, don't mind me. <laughs> so it's also classic in that the uh, the the fool is unnumbered. And number 13, death is unnamed. Um, also, oh, I'm getting off camera. Um, also, strength and justice. Strength is uh, 
Jesus. Strength is 11 and justice is 8. Excuse me. The Emperor. I feel like pictures don't do this deck justice and neither does the video. The colors are so, so pretty, even though they're muted, like they're just... Oh, I just adore this deck. So pretty. Um, it is still available on Amazon.com too. Um, it might be only through third party sellers now. Um, when I bought it, it was just, you know, they were just selling it on Amazon. And it wasn't, yeah, I think it's just third party sellers now. But it is still pretty easy to get your hands on. I also see it up on eBay all the time. Um, the gentleman who did the artwork for this deck, his name is Matthew. Am I showing you these cards? The Hermit. His name is Matthew Hackery. That's M A T T H I E U H A C K I E R E. Uh, Matthew Hackery, and he's got a website, MatthewHackery.com, um, that shows off some of his other artwork. And all his art has this amazing kind of, this kind of style to it. It's macabre, almost. Some of it a little Victorian or something. Um, I love the hangman. The Le Pendu. Um, where did the rest of them go? There they are. <laughs> we found death. Slippery little sucker. That glare out of there. It's one of my favorite temperance cards. Oh, she's so pretty. Um, anyway, you can't purchase the deck, as far as I know, on his website. Um, the only way to find it is on, like, Amazon or eBay or something like that. Um, but it's not crazy expensive, either. They're still going for, I think, somewhere around 20 or something like that. 20 or 30. I love that this is in my collection. If you read Marseille style, this you're going to get down with this deck. Even if you don't. You should learn, because this deck is awesome. <laughs> that is uh, the sun. And they really did take, this is this is Marseille, you know? It's, um, I, I can't read the book, so I'm not sure if he modeled it on a, uh, on a specific deck, um, but it incorporates most of the imagery and symbolism from um, your, like your classic basic conveyor deck or something like that. Um, yeah, it's, everything's there, you know? It's a little bird, and it's just redrawn in an amazingly gorgeous way. Um, it is big, so just, you know, be aware of that. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how I shuffle them. Well, I have really small hands, too. It's a little bit of work, but... But it works. Otherwise, let me shuffle this way, too. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Why is half my deck facing the other way? And that is how you mess up shuffling a deck. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. That's the box that it comes in. Um, it came just shrink-wrapped inside this box with the book. Um, it's actually a great box to use for, you know, storing whatever. But probably not a good box to keep your tarot deck in, because there's nothing to sort of hold it in the corner like some have. Um, so I, I mean, if you know me, I don't keep any of my tarot decks in a, uh, in the box they came in. I, I hate that. I keep this guy in one of these little satin bags, and I picked out this really cool, like, old pin. I got this from my aunt or something. So that is what my Terra Noir looks like when he's hanging out and not being used. 
Anyway, find this deck. It is wonderful. Thanks, guys.